everyone, how's it going? This is a video analysis of Double Equip, the 70 plus I climbed a couple weeks ago. It's barely slab, real small holds. And the video you're watching is my third attempt, I believe. I climbed it second go. So I kind of know the route regardless. Let's jump in and see what I did well and what I didn't do well. All right, this is this is the beauty right here. Starting off good, good pace, good holds. Nice steady clipping position, high feet. Nice relaxed upper body, easy clips. Moving on with good pace because I know the start. This move I did really slowly. I could have thrown my arm up into that, done it much more dynamically. And I didn't because I'm fumbling here. I didn't exactly know where the hold was. And again into a high foot. I'm like sat on it, relaxed upper body for a clip. Another relaxing little move. You see here, I move over into this position, but my hips are not really over that leg, and my right arm is still pulling in that undercling quite hard to clip. Then, like an idiot, I then stand up right onto my right leg, and you can see my right arm can relax and I can chalk. I should have clip from here. You can see I can reach. That was my bad. I'm swapping arms in, shaking out. My arm is bent, but as I'm on a good bit of slab there, most of the weight is through my legs. So I'm pretty relaxed, pretty comfortable here. It's me on the left, by the way, in, in yellow. I'm not, uh, <laughs> yeah, we're looking at that guy in yellow. So you see, my pace is pretty slow here. Another high foot, I'm sat on that foot to get a good clip. I do have to stretch a bit for that one, but that's okay. Although if my right leg was up just a little bit, which I'm sure it could have, that would have been a much more relaxed position. You see now, my right leg actually just left the hold and then I shook, shook out and chalked. Uh, which is much less efficient. I should have kept it on the hold. Same here. My right leg is just off the hold. So I'm pulling down with my right arm as you saw. When there was a hold right there, I could have been on and I could have been much more relaxed. Slowly bringing my feet up. You can see this move. I was off balance, I had to pull really hard with my left to keep in balance. I did try to stop it of that initial flag, but I should have gone with a further right foot. This clipping position, terrible. You can see it was only my right leg and my right arm I was pulling hard. I should have been in this position. My right arm is bent like that because I'm on a Gaston, so I can come in with my left hand. I want a good foot there. Set up for this move. You can see my hips and my shoulders move at the same time. This move, my right foot isn't even on anything. I just hang there and swap feet to get my left on. That's terrible. That moves okay. And again, I'm into a steady position, a nice wide base there to shake out and have a look around. You can see my bobble head moving around. Still don't exactly know what I'm doing though. And you can see I'm now way up higher, more weight on my arms and I'm just locked off to chalk. I should have just stayed sunk down on the feet. So that could have been much more efficient.
You can see I bring my feet up high because I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm pulling around just to go right one hold. And I actually come down. So as you can see I should have stayed in this position. To get over there. And then brought my hips up to clip the chains. You see my right arm is still really bent. That hold was really weird. You had to be like pulling left on it for it to be good. So I pull on here to try the move again. And you can see how much easier it is. Keeping the wide feet, I can just go right. Now I actually bring my left foot and my right foot up a bit higher. That moves way easier. And instead of my right foot being on nothing, like that first one, that's the first time I tried, you see the stretch. My right foot, I put it on something instead of just pulling. And that's way better. So there we go. Hey everyone, so that was the climb. I've just made a couple takeaways that I think will benefit you. If you can learn from my experience, I'd say the main issues I had with that climb, firstly, you could see a common trend was I was leaving restful positions uh, before I actually knew what I was doing. So I was in a good solid base. I was chalking out whatever, looking around. But I think to keep up a certain pace, a certain speed on the climb, I left those positions before I actually knew where I was going or what I was doing. So I spent a lot of time locked off or holding onto the wall really face on, which was just wasting a lot of my energy because I didn't really have a plan. My advice is when you get into those restful positions, actually decide what you're going to do, where you're going to go before you leave them. Don't feel a rush to keep up a certain pace that you feel you've been sticking to. Milk the rests for all they're worth and use them not just to relax and feel comfortable, but to plan decisively where you're going to go next. Secondly, I rush my feet quite a lot on that route. I'm normally quite good with my feet, I quite pride myself on my footwork, but on that particular route there was pretty minimal feet and in one piece of the video I actually didn't use my didn't use a foot at all. My right leg came down, had to put a high left foot on, and instead of taking a bit of extra time to find a right foot, I just cut loose and put my left on, which obviously is much less efficient particularly on those small holds I was on. So take the extra couple seconds to, to find a foot basically. Don't just rush and jump between feet. Um, obviously your style will depend on the climb and your strengths. If you're a boulderer maybe, you have much more power and strength but you lack endurance perhaps your style would be to hop between feet because you can deal with more intensity but you can't deal with hanging on for five minutes. So it's very valuable that you understand your strengths. I have pretty good endurance but I'd say my power is lacking. So for me, I should have taken those extra seconds to find the feet and made the climb overall much more efficient. It would have benefited me and can benefit you quite substantially because you're not going to end up hanging on bad holes just locked off face on the wall like trying to see where to go or feeling around and, or looking for feet you do that in those comfortable positions uh, so when you leave them you can just climb quickly and decisively or efficiently into the next restful position in general, you want to just quickly climb until you're at a good rest. Rest, relax, like reset and decide where you're going to go. And then quickly climb to the next rest or the chains or whatever. I hope this video brought you some value. 
I'm trying to I'm trying to help as many comments as I can. If you want more content like this and more in-depth articles, uh, go to ascendingblog.com. I'm posting on there weekly at least with some in-depth content for climbing performance. I really appreciate it if you check it out. Regardless, have a nice day. I will see you in the next video.